if I didn't have time to think about it, I don't know, ice cream? Ice cream makes an amazing meal. <laughs> My name is Callie, some people call me Chef. I grew up in Florida and cooked from the Destin Panhandle down to Miami. I cook for a wide variety of different people in different places and for different cultures. I've learned how to adapt myself to the environment and the different tastes of the people around me. I've transformed myself from being a culinary student to a culinary expert. And now I'm taking my personal chef business around the US to see what their local communities have to offer. So we are in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida today, and we were cooking for a group of eight ladies. Now we're cooking for a group of nine. They just told us, and uh, we're gonna have to make it work. We might have to pull a couple things together, decide whatever we gotta do. <laughs> okay, so today we came to Shrimpers to get the seafood. Uh, one of the reasons that I really like this, this market is because they get up shipments up to four times a day, which is really important when working with raw fish. Whenever I do a uh, crab, especially something like crab cakes or she crab soup, I always use jumbo lump because it's the best. It has very little bones that you have to worry about or shell. Um, and we're also gonna be getting some lobster. So can I have three lobster tails, please? Actually, make it four. Based off of my research, Black Bear is a really reputable um, business in this location. They use everything from scratch and they do really nice quality um, bread and they, and they have a just small menu too and everyone seems to love it. It's kind of the hype of the town so that's why we want to check it out and see what that chef has to offer. What brings a quality product to the table is um, discipline uh, in your craft and training. Um, and understanding what your end result is. I mean, you, you, you know, I think it comes from being experienced in your field. Um, I, I don't think, you know, that somebody who's been cooking a year can create something super high quality because they haven't worked through what they need to do yet. Um, so it's, I think it's, it comes from experience and it comes from coaching and training and being consistent with that. Life of a traveling personal chef um, it has a lot of great qualities to it, such as meeting great clients, uh, experiencing new cities that maybe I haven't gone to before. I mean, you really just kind of have to take in the environment and really feel what that city is about in order to create a good menu and meal for that client. Um, at the end of the day, it's it's ultimately about using, you know, the fresh ingredients and, and what that city really gives you as far as food and, and, and product. For example, um, in Santa Rosa, people come there because they want fresh seafood and they want um, that golf experience. So that's really something we took into consideration when making that menu. fish ceviche, um, uh, tomato caprese salad, right. seafood bully base with a lobster that you got in the oven, yep. and then pan roasted snapper for the entree with some roasted asparagus and thyme cream corn, and then a peach cobbler with ice cream. one pan. Um, they wanted dinner kind of late and I cooked the entire meal with one large frying pan from Publix and you know you always have that that moment where you're like is this gonna happen is this can I finish this am I gonna have to you know bail I don't want to bail you can't fail you know you, you don't have any options my only option was that 12 inch frying pan from Publix and cook I think it was maybe 12 people 
cooked for 12 people on a little frying pan and they loved it all. So that, that to me was, they, they asked me how did I do it and I don't even remember really. <laughs> That's it. So I wanted to pick things that are uh, local to Florida, that are common here, that kind of showcase Florida at its best, right? So some of the things that I chose were the uh, lionfish ceviche. Um, we're doing an heirloom caprese salad uh, with some fresh heirloom cherry tomatoes, some buff burrata cheese, which is like really good. And then uh, we're doing a seafood um, spiny lobster bully base. Uh, which is going to have some um, bay scallops, some mussels, some spiny Florida lobster with a nice saffron broth. And then for our entree, we're doing some pan roasted red snapper with thyme cream corn, some asparagus. And then for dessert, we're doing a peach cobbler with vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah! Yeah! Cool. yeah. All right, so we're going to get started, okay? You know, when you can kind of overcome those hurdles and just kind of have a really good successful dinner, that's when you're like, wow, this, was, this went really well. You know, everything turned out really well. Everything looked really nice. Um, the plating looked really good. Everything was cooked perfectly. It was a good dinner.